gosh. <laughs> Josh, Josh, Josh. Josh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Restoration Renegades. I'm your host, Jeremy West, along with our restoration experts from Dalworth Restoration, Nick and Josh Hobbs. Welcome to the show. And of course, our do-it-yourself for restoration renegade, Mr. Jason Ward. All right, guys, we've got an important question today. As always, they're always important. And the question is, does my homeowner's policy cover mold? I don't know, Jeremy, does it? I don't know. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the M word, right? So this is a, a fun one that we get often. Yeah, so for the most part, no, it doesn't. To be, uh, to be blunt, um, coverage is normally, I mean, you do see some limitations with some policies there they may cover up to an amount but normally for the most part molds not covered and so it used to be and the insurance got upside down years ago back in the uh, mid 90s with this this issue and really changed uh, the terminology when it comes to mold so for the most part molds not covered so in the event that you have a water damage you want to get that taken care of ASAP so that when it if and when it does turn into a mold issue you're gonna have a problem so what percentage of water damage results in mold, subsequent mold problems? Uh, well, I would say 0% uh, of the ones that we do because that's the whole reason as to why we get out there is to stop it from happening. But 100% of the ones that where the folks don't take care of anything, right. you know, for the most part, it's going to take care it, that's going to happen. Or that's the risk that you, um, you, you, you take. How long does that take to form? You know, given the right conditions, it can be, you know, 48 to 72 hours. Um, and so it can form pretty quick, you know, it you know, depends if you're running your air conditioner or if you're not running your air conditioner, the ambient conditions outside. And so there's a lot of different factors, but um, it can grow pretty quickly or at least start to grow pretty quickly. Right. And so the idea is to mitigate that damage as quickly as possible with drying, drying the structure out, right. right? Identifying the things that can be dried and what can't and getting rid of the things that can't and, and drying the things that can. So, and I, I remember talking from past episodes where sometimes you don't realize water damage has occurred because it's on one side of the house, but then it goes across perhaps the ceiling and then you begin to notice the leak. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it can be a challenge sometimes to find certain leaks. You know, mold's definitely a moving target because it grows in areas where the conditions are um, perfect for it to grow. So, it, it, you know, it can sort of show its face in different areas and make it more problematic, so to speak, to, 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 to locate in the event that it turns to mold. Mm -hmm. It, you know, the, the, the big thing here is to get it taken care of before it does. And if you do that correctly, then you don't have to worry about, you know, chasing that around. So, yeah, it could be a challenge. So the faster the better. The faster the better. All right. So you can see how important it is to act quickly whenever you notice water leakage or any water damage that you might have because you don't want mold to form because it can become a serious serious issue. Now, if that does happen to you, simply go to restorationrenegades.com where you can find a renegade expert to help solve that issue for you. Um, and also, you want to make sure that you find more educational episodes like this one by subscribing to our channel and then smash that bell as well as smash the like button so that you get more informative content such as this. And until then, we'll see you and we thank you guys for being here on the next episode of Restoration Renegades.